Hey there, my name is Lauren Parnes. I am uh, an otologist, neurotologist, working here at University Hospital. I'm a professor of otolaryngology and head and neck surgery and also uh, clinical neurological sciences here at Western University. So the program here in otolaryngology at Western, in my opinion, is the best program in the country. Um, I've been here in this program for 39 years. I did my residency from 1981 to 85, went off and did a fellowship for a year and a half at the University of Iowa, and I've been on staff since 1987. And this program is better than it's ever been in its history by far. So our program has a very strong reputation for uh, clinical work, particularly the surgical aspect of the program. And it's, it's really always been strong ever since I was a resident. But, but what's really grown over the years uh, under the chairmanship of uh, Dr. Yu and now under the uh, leadership of Dr. Fung is the research aspect of our program. At one point, uh, really, I was the only one doing any kind of uh, basic science research here. And now we have two world-class uh, labs. Uh, one headed up by Dan, uh, Dr. Anthony Nichols in the head and neck program, and the other headed up by Dr. Sumit uh, Agrawal in the uh, middle ear uh, mechanics uh, and otology program. And he collaborates with Dr. Hanif Ladakh, who's a professor uh, of engineering and medical biophysics at uh, Western as well. When we are looking for a candidate for our program, I think mostly we, we need someone that's uh, going to be able to get along with, with, with all of us, with, with the faculty, with the other residents, with the hospital staff, and with the patients. Of course, they have to be strong clinically. We want them to have surgical, good surgical skills, but of course, it's hard to assess for that ahead of time. We like them to have a good um, record in research, and um, we like them to have good references. I think the references that we receive during the CARMS match are very important in, in how we rank our candidates. The philosophy of our uh, training program, I, I, I think really uh, hinges on the fact that, that, that we're a, a small program and that we're very much like a family. And we treat these trainees like they are part of our family. I'm old enough to now say now that I kind of treat them like my own kids, uh, but back in the day I would uh, treat them like my, my brothers and sisters and, and cousins. Another strength of our program is the fact that we don't have very many fellows here, okay? So many of the other programs will have fellows in all the other, in all the surgical subspecialties. Here we only have one fellow in head and neck surgery. So when the residents are here, uh, working on the ONO surface, that's an acronym for otology, neurotology. The residents are really working one-on-one -on -one with myself and with Dr. Agrawal and get direct access to our expertise, okay? They're not fighting for cases with the fellow, so their exposure to common cases and really esoteric, interesting cases is really exceptional. One of the strengths of our, of our program is that, you know, we're, we're fairly small. We only have teaching hospitals here in London, and all the faculty work in the teaching hospitals, and all the residents work directly with the, with the faculty because there's only one fellow here in head and neck. So they get tremendous access to the really common cases plus the really uncommon esoteric interesting cases um, and we're, a, we're a ref, you know a tertiary and in some cases a quaternary referral center like myself I get uh, referrals from all over the country uh, for some of the subspecialty sub work that I do. We have a very young vibrant uh, faculty uh, many of them are not far out of training themselves so they, uh, you know, they really connect with uh, with the residents, and uh, and I connect, of course, in in, in my own way. And uh, my mantra for for teaching these young people is that uh, it's a quote from John Wooden, the great coach John Wooden, who who said, "Young 
people need models, not critics. And that's how I like to, uh, to teach my residents. Not by criticizing, but showing them the right way to do things and hopefully they will you know, uh, emulate the, the work that I'm doing. Our program is incredibly strong in research. We have three clinician scientists that are uh, supported by our department. So they're doing, you know, half time or maybe two thirds time, half to two thirds time clinical research and one third to half uh, basic science research in their labs. I'm most familiar with Dr. Agarwal's work. He's my partner colleague in otology and neurotology and he runs the auditory biophysics lab here at University Hospital and at Western where he collaborates with Dr. Hanif Ladakh. And they are doing world-class research. Uh, now he's one of the world's experts in imaging of the inner ear. Um, he collaborates with uh, uh, other doctors from around the country, from Stanford, from Sweden, uh, producing incredible, incredible um, uh, images of the inner ear that have never been seen before due to his collaboration with the Synchrotron imaging unit in, in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So one thing I really want to emphasize about our program is that our residents go out, they're done here, they're exceptionally well trained surgically, clinically and academically and they basically can get their choice of uh, clinical jobs or uh, fellowship positions. Uh, recently we've had uh, fellows, uh, I'm sorry, residents match to fellowships that are the best in the world. Horace Chang in Sydney, Australia, uh, Rachna Araslanova in New York City, and this year uh, uh, Peng Yu in Houston, at the Baylor at the Children's Hospital, uh, Laura Kim who's doing a fellowship in Head and Neck at MD Anderson, and also Neil Mundy who's doing a fellowship at Mount Sinai in New York. These are the most plumb fellowship positions in North America and in the world. And we're incredibly proud of our residents that, uh, you know, they work hard, but we train them well and we set them up for excellent opportunities in their career. So I grew up in Toronto. Uh, I went to med school there. I came to Western to do my residency, finished in 85, and then I did a year and a half fellowship in neurotology. And I actually started the neurotology program here at Western, here at University Hospital. Before I came, there wasn't a cochlear implant program. We weren't doing any of the skull-based surgery. So I really started, I'm very proud of that accomplishment and it's grown and now Dr. Agarwal is here with me and we, uh, we have definitely one of the best programs around in, in, in our subspecialty. I really love living in London. Um, it's a much smaller city, There's, it's not as exciting as Toronto, but I, I live about five minutes that way, about a five minute drive for me to go home. I go home for lunch, I go home to walk the dog, I come back, I can go home sometimes even between cases in the operator room. You can't do that in Toronto, you can't do that in Vancouver. And London is a, a beautiful city, uh, it's, it's green, it's luscious, it's very safe. My kids grew up here, but never feel unsafe uh, in London. That's, that's one of the great things about living here. The uh, cost of living is much, much lower than, than the big cities, the, than Vancouver, than Toronto, than Montreal. So it's, it's still a very affordable place to live. I enjoy sports, many different sports. I played uh, hockey for many years, pickup hockey, league hockey here for many years. I'm also uh, um, a very active uh, musician. I, I enjoy playing piano and singing. And one of my favorite, one of my favorite things to do in the department is to play uh, music at our annual residence research day. And. Um, uh, I'll get uh, the, the residents and their, and their family and friends singing along with me and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a grand time. I had a resident, uh, Dougie Angel, who was uh, here for several years. We used to do a dueling piano thing at Residence Day and um, one of the highlights uh, of, the, uh, of the year was, uh, is our Residence Research Day 
and I think we uh, help to make those days uh, that much more enjoyable with our music. Because we're such a strong program, uh, we attract uh, the cream of the crop uh, in our applicants uh, of the medical students from across the country. So uh, we are consistently uh, a very strong uh, program and um, I don't see any, I don't have any concerns about the, the, you know, the near future of our program. Our faculty is young. I'm the old guy. Uh, eventually I'll be retiring, but um, I think I still got a, a handful of, uh, a, f a few good years uh, left in me. Work life's been fantastic. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better job. I couldn't have asked for a better department. I couldn't have asked for a better career. I specialize in restoring hearing for people. I mean, I see, I just saw a kid uh, in the clinic yesterday. She's a kid, a, a young lady. She's 20 years old now. I did a cochlear implant here on her when she was two years old. Without that, she would have grown up deaf. She would have been signing. She would have uh, had challenges with her speech. She tells me she's just got accepted to engineering at Western now, and you wouldn't even know she had any kind of impediment at all because her hearing, her speech and language is so good. For the medical students that are watching this and wondering where they might want to rank us, I, I, say, I say rank us high. You won't go wrong. We're, we're a, you know, a great, great tight program here. We have great respect for one another and we are very much like a family here. So, go London. <laughs>